This is a follow-up video because last year in May 2021 I created a video about a discovery made by the Warsaw Mummy Project in Poland of a pregnant mummy with a fetus still inside her womb. I even put this discovery in my top 5 greatest archaeological discoveries made in 2021 video, but now new information has come to light. My name is Kaylee. Join me today as we look into the new information surrounding the first ever discovered pregnant mummy. First, let's recap what we already know about this discovery from the video I made last year to have the information fresh in our minds. The mummy in question was long believed to have been a male because it was discovered in a sarcophagi with a male name inscribed. The mummy has been on loan to the Warsaw Museum since 1917 and has been proudly on display there. The Warsaw Mummy Project started in 2015 by a group of archaeologists from the University of Warsaw, of course, and they've been conducting research and scans into these mummies to uncover more information about them without having to unwrap these mummies, because they're wrapped quite delicately. During the last stages of the research into 40 mummies last year, they discovered a tiny foot in the abdomen of this particular mummy, a site very well known to parents. So they decided to conduct further research into this mummy and that was still believed to be a male at this point in time. So it could have been like leftover stuffing from the mummification process, they didn't know. They conducted a detailed analysis and 3D visualization of the mummy and concluded that without a doubt, this mummy was a female as there was no sign of a penis. And not only that, but she was with child. That's quite a thing. <laughs> This is the first ever discovered mummy with a child still inside the womb. The mummy was estimated to be approximately between the ages of 20 and 30 years and the fetus inside of her was estimated to be between 26 and 30 weeks of gestation. The cause of death is unknown, but we can be sure they will try to figure out why this woman died in the middle of her pregnancy. In the video in May that I made, I theorized about why the fetus was left inside of her and while the internal organs had been removed during the mummification process, but why not the uterus? It's quite a thing to leave behind, you know? So there was a possible religious reason that the child would have been safer with the mom in the realm of the dead since it is possible that the ancient Egyptians thought that the unborn child did not have a soul yet or that this way the mom could guide the soul of the unborn child safely through the underworld. Both are a possibility. But of course there's also the possibility that it was just too difficult for them to remove the fetus from the womb without causing too much damage to the bodies of both the unborn child and the mother. But we didn't know how it was possible for the fetus to be this well preserved after 2000 years. So now it's time to look into the new information that came out on January 4th, 2022. So during the mummification process, the embalmers covered the body of the mummy with natron or natural soda. This was to dry the body and get rid of the moisture. The fetus that was still inside the uterus inside the mother's body during this process began to pickle in the acidic environment. According to anthropologist, archaeologist and co-director of the Warsaw Mummy Project, Marzen Ozarek Zilke, the acidification process of the fetus was similar to the gherkin in a barrel effect. Or, in other words, the fetus literally pickled inside the womb in a similar way as ancient bodies in swamps are preserved. The reason the fetus was so difficult to spot was because no traces of the bones remain at this point. Normally, bones mineralize during the mummification process, like it did with the bones of the body of the mother. But during the drying process of the mother's body, the fetus began to pickle. Formic acid and other compounds formed after her death in the uterus due to decomposition, and this changed the pH inside her from an alkaline to an acidic environment, which caused minerals to leach out of the fetal bones. So this is why we can hardly see any fetal bones on CT images. It is true that you can see hands and feet, but 
These are not actually bones, but actually that is dried up tissue. Quite nasty when you think about it, sorry. It remains unclear as to why the fetus was left inside the body of the mother. It is suggested still that it was too difficult to remove the fetus because the uterus was very hard during this period of the pregnancy. But it is still possible that it had a religious reason. We will probably never really know. Just like the gender of the fetus is still unknown and will probably never be known as well because we need to unwrap the mummy for that to be ever even tried to be discovered. What we do know for sure is that the birth canal of the mother was not open. This indicates that she did not die of childbirth or of childbirth related complications. Up until this point, this is the only pregnant mummy known so far. And we are still not quite sure if she is unique or if there are other pregnant mummies out there. Hopefully time will tell as more research will be done into other mummies. The findings about this mummy and her fetus will be published in the Journal of Archaeological Science and I'm looking forward to read more about this mummy and what else they've uncovered about her and her unborn fetus and she's been in my thoughts quite a bit in this past year. But if you enjoyed watching then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click that bell icon if you want to be notified every single time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, click one of the links in the description down below, or click one of the videos in the end card. I'd also like to say a massive, massive thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I'm so grateful for all your support to me and my work and the channel and extremely grateful and I hope to live up to your expectations and maybe even exceed them. Or not. But... <laughs> I'll be continuing making these videos as this is my greatest passion in life now. And yeah, um, I don't really have bloopers. This was the very first time I used a teleprompter, which is sort of next to the screen. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, I need to try new things to speed up the process of filming because it takes me too long and that makes editing too much of a um, difficult thing. So yeah, um, new plant, new statue. It's all cute. Um, I drank energy drink. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit hyped. Hyped. But yeah, um, no bloopers, I think. But this blabbing. I got another big flask. This one is bigger than the previous one I had. This is also a thermos water bottle that you can put your coffee in. And yeah, you can take me with you. Take history with Kaylee with you. It's big. It's large. It's it'll fit enough for you to last a long time you're going on a hike take history with kaylee with you you can get them at historywithkayleeshop.com and yeah get your own merch i say do it bye guys